you know, it's really cool being on a bus like this. I, I, I got to take this all in. I've never been on one of these buses. I mean, it must be a far cry being on a bus like this compared to being in that little red van with you and... Uh, how many people did you guys fit in that van and then you took it on the road? I mean, dude, there was probably about 12 of us in this van. Plus, we had some equipment in the very back of the van. So we were just all pressed up against each other, man. And it was just like a mess and it smelled like shit. And it was just like, but but I'll tell you what, we got to know each other very well, oh, yeah. you know, and it's just like we, we sort of went through this period together, you know, it was like tough and we just like went out there and played every gig, we made every gig and, you know, it, we just we just kept going even though it was like tough at first, you know what I mean, it was like we knew that we were like doing something, so we kept going and it was just like, it's cool, man, like tonight, it's like some nights I'm just like leaving the venue and I see, you know, I'm, there's a bus in front of me, you know, you know, we're in the line and uh, I always ask D, it's like, who is that, you know, tonight it was Fonzie and, and then I'm sitting there and I'm going like, holy shit, we're like, we're like leaving this place in our own fucking buses, <laughs> man, you know what I mean, and I remember that shit, like the band is just like, Jesus, man, we used to go around in a van and then haul the trailer and shit, man, and now we all have our own buses, and it just still blows me away, man. It still blows me away. Every single time, you just can't help yourself, huh? You know what I mean? It's just like, uh, you know, very grateful, and, and it's just, you know, like for us, it was always about believing this band. In the very beginning, we just believed, you know, in this music and what we were doing, and you know, it just like got us to this place, man. And it's cool. Twenty some years later, we're still doing it, man. And right now, we're having so much fucking fun, man. I mean, the fun that it seems like we're having on stage, we're actually having that much fun. It's just like sometimes I'm on stage and I was like, I can't believe that this is my job and I can have this much fucking fun. It's really, it's really been cool. I mean, this tour, the winter tour, the last several tours have been some of the most fun tours that I've, I've ever done, you know. Um. That definitely shows on stage. You guys have stepped it up. I mean, you can tell the, the camaraderie and the energy. It's electric. I can't imagine you guys, at least in a couple more years, hanging this up. I mean, you still got it going. It doesn't even seem like you guys are winding down. I could see more albums. I could see more concert tours. I mean, what, could, could you ever, have you ever envisioned a day where at some point... You know, this is going to end up, or do you feel that you guys could keep going on for another 10 years, let's say? I don't think about that too much, man. I mean, we, we never have talked about that, like, in our careers. It's just like, you know, when, you know, like, we might end it here, we might end it there. We just go, like, just gig by gig, summer by summer, man. And it's it's it feels like we're entering into a whole new different phase of this band it's like um i mean it's almost like we're just starting again you know it's just like we're starting but we're going to a whole other place you know what i mean in our music and it's 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 cool man i i, I don't think i mean we don't know we wouldn't know what to fucking do you know without this band and and it's like um I, I, I don't envision us um, bringing up for um, a very long time, if ever. <laughs> Let me just have, have this conversation with you again real quick about uh, last night, you guys pulled out a song that hasn't been played in 10 years that I know that people on message boards and fans and Narnia and everybody had wanted to hear this song and you played True Reflections and you guys didn't miss a beat. What was it like playing that song again for everybody here in, in uh, Boston? I was like, I hope I don't fuck up the words. <laughs> and uh, it sounded right on, man. <laughs> thank you, man. It, it was fun, man. And it was just like everybody, a lot of people have been asking me for about a year or so. It's just like, when are you going to play True Reflections? And uh, I was like, well, well, we'll do it eventually. I promise we'll do it. We'll do it. And, you know, like this summer we decided to come in and just like bring out a whole bunch of songs we haven't played in a long time. So I was like, okay, this will be a great opportunity to do True Reflections. And I called up Dave like about a week ago and I was like, dude, do you want to do True Reflections? It's like, yeah, man, we'll do it at the next gig. And so, you know, we, you know, we just broke it out, rehearsed that afternoon and it like, you know, everything just sort of came back to us, man. And 
it's fun when you play a song that you haven't played in a long time because it's fresh again, you know? It's like it's 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 a whole new song again, you know, and it's uh it was fun, man. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was it was great. You guys definitely made it your own and you can tell the quality of it. It's like it's like you've been playing it all these years. You didn't even you didn't miss a beat with it. Now, do you see does Dave come to you before the shows with the set list, or do you guys plan it out, or is it just kind of like when you're on stage, you know what you're going to do, and here we go. Do you ever anticipate it, or is it just like, I'm just going to take it song by song and, and rock out? Like uh, when, when I'm looking at the set list, you mean? Do you, you, know, do you, do you kind of look at it beforehand, or do you just get out there and, and go and do it? It's, it's interesting. Sometimes I don't look at the set list, or sometimes I might look at the very first song of the set list, and then just go out there and do it. Sometimes I don't look at the set list at all, and then just go out there and do it. You know, it just, it's almost like depends on like, where my frame of mind is that night, you know what I mean? If, if it's like, I'm feeling like I just need to go out there and just get into it, it doesn't even really matter like what song it is, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like this summer, I have to like, I'm seeing that I'm looking at the set list more, because we're doing so many sure, things yeah. that are not like the way we usually yeah, do. We're, we're coming in like I think when we start with like Nancy's and tripping mm -hmm. and like all these tunes. So I'm just like, holy shit! I need to be ready, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, so it 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 um, it's it's it, it's been fun, man. It's been fun to like just go back and play some of these tunes, man. I mean, like Captain. That was another tune that I know. I that's like, one of your favorites. I, I love Captain, man. I love stuff. Captain, man. But it's so much fun that we brought uh, brought that back, and it's like uh, I'm, I'm excited. We're, we're having a lot of fun, man. Is there? There's got to be a certain tune. I mean, there's just certain Boyd songs that you know you're just gonna get the ultimate solo. If it's Nancy's or Jimmy Thing or Lion Our Graves, which song? Do you really make your own that you're just like you? St I mean, you step it up for every song, obviously. But there's got to be that one tune where it's just like this is your moment, and you're gonna rock the hell out with everybody. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to say, you know. I mean, ants may be one, you know, and um, you know, and I, and I think that like all the songs that I like do solos on. It's just like I particularly like just lately. I want to take them to like different places, you know. Like tonight when we did um, Crush, yes, it was just like I came into Crush like in a way that I've never gone into it, and because I did, it just took the song in a whole different direction, and it was like so much fun, man. And so it, it all depends. Like sometimes, you know, a song that I'm not expecting, you know, to like be like a great, not like a great solo, but it's like this is going to be one that I'm going to be jamming on. You know what I mean? And it's just like you, but you get into it, and sometimes you just you go with it, and things just happen, man. It's just like wow, this is like a whole new, different vibe to this song, you know. And it's just like Forty One is one of those tunes that like lately has taken on like a whole different, you know, um, just like vibe for me. You know what I mean? It's just like I, I I'm feeling it differently, and it's. Um, I don't know, it's fun, it's just like, it's, all, it's very playful, you know, and uh, it's it, and, I'll, and I'll tell you, it's, it's really cool, the chemistry in this band, because it's just like, I'll find myself playing off of different people, and it's like, when I go over to Dave and I'm jamming with him, I'm also like vibing off of him, I'm like playing off of him, and it's like he brings out something in particular in me. And then when I go over to Fonzie, it's just like, it's like a whole different world, and we're vibing off of each other, you know, and we're, and... And it's like, you know, and Carter and Tim and, and the horns, and it's just like, it's very cool, like, this just, this communication that, that's going on, and it's very cool just like the, the way that musicians, each of us, bring out stuff in the others. And, um, and that's, that's what it's all about, man. It's just great when, like, you know, somebody comes out from the very beginning and just, like, lays it down, you know, and just, like, goes for it on the solos and then everybody else that comes in they go for it and it just like pushes everybody and i, I love that shit well for me it's got to be lying our graves but we'll we'll leave it at that we'll leave it at that and also too you uh you put out a movie last year faces in the mirror yep. and you even did your own separate tour you know screening the movie performing gigs meeting fans 
obviously that was a lot different than playing in front of 20,000 people. Was that hard for you to get used to, or did you just, you must have loved doing that. And, uh, do you have any more plans on doing another movie, or? It was so great how you just got everybody together across the country to hang out, watch your movie, and see some live music. A lot of musicians and bands don't do that, so that must have been a very unique uh, experience for you to do. Yeah, it was cool, man. It's something I wanted to do for a long time. It's like tour a movie with musicians and a, you know, and a band and, um, and, ju and then just do it myself, you know? I just wanted to make a movie, make a movie my way and just put it out there, you know, myself and, you know, without any, like, influence of, you know, um, you know, we, we, we have a, a digital distri uh, distribution deal with Snag Films. Um, and they're very cool to work with. They're very loose and they like, like let us just like do our own thing, you know. And so it's like, I don't even like think of them as like being like, like so corporate. They're just like a really cool company. And so I didn't, I didn't want that very sort of corporate, you must do this, you must do that kind of thing. I wanted to have absolutely, you know, freedom, absolute freedom. So I knew that if I was going to do that, I'd have to do it like pretty much myself, you know, and and I did, and it was it was fun, man. It's great to go do the screenings around the country, um, and just you know meeting a bunch of people, playing with a, a bunch of bands, um, and it's like this movie has a way of like bringing people together, you know. Um, a lot of people can identify with it because it's like about grief and um, it's about regret and, and guilt, and it's just like things that we've all, you know. We, We've all experienced, and uh, it's it's. Um, I, I I definitely plan on doing, um, you know, an, another movie and, and maybe another, you know, some more musical projects. I love being in the studio. I love producing, you know, and I love just like creating, just like you know, music and creating like scenes and 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 just like bringing out like the drama of it, you know. Well, what was so unique about the movie too is you did the music first. And then you did the movie, right? Isn't that, uh, which yeah. is a little unconventional. Usually it's the movie and then you put the music around the movie, but you had the music in your head and then you, you had the script and then you filmed that. I mean, that's a unique process to do, but it, it came out, it came out right on. That must, people were probably like, what the hell is this guy doing? Yeah. But, uh, you pulled it off right. It's interesting. I mean, uh, that's kind of like the way that I think, you know, it's like, for me, it's like in the uh, movies and music, I mean, uh, music and movies, it's just like they, to me, I love it when they like, like match the emotional, like tone of what's going on on the screen. So it's like, it like heightens the emotional feel that you get from it. And so to me, it's just like, if you know the vibe of the movie or what's going on, it's just like you can do the music, you know, because you bring the music from that same place, you know. You tell that story to the musicians and you just let them open up freely. And, you know, by opening up freely and not being contrived about it, it brings out this magic that you can't get any other way. And and then from there, it's like, yeah, we, we took that music and we, um, you know, we, we made a movie around it. Everybody listened to the music. Everybody got the vibe, the director and... Um, the actors and the crew and the screenwriter and you know so everything centered around that and it was fun it was like we had to sort of invent this process as we went along you know it was like it was like a theory <laughs> you know yeah. going into it but you know we, we we made it we made it happen you know just like purely out of belief and just like really going you know from the heart you know for me it was just like it's not done until we can feel it you know what I mean and, um, you know, and it took three years, you know, and I loved every minute of it. It was like one of the best experiences of my life, and um, I, I definitely plan to, to do it again. You know, I, I loved it. Yeah, I mean, I loved it, too. It was a, it was a great experience, and, you know, I just want to wrap it up here. Last night, uh, you and Carter were wearing Boston Strong T-shirts, and, you know, people saw that, and that got the crowd going. We've been through a lot uh, here in the last couple months. It was really hard, but I think... You guys bringing everybody together really, you know, kind of, it helps you forget uh, for a couple hours. What does it mean for you guys to come back here to Boston to play, to rock out, you know, two nights in front of 20,000 people every night and know what you're doing is making everybody feel a little more happier than what we've been through? Boston has been um, there for DMV, like, from the very beginning. And you guys are just giving us, like, mad love and, 
you know, and it's like, you know, my heart is just like has a big attachment to this place, you know, just because of the love that you give. My wife is from Boston, you know, and, and it's just like I, I, I love people here and I love the love that they give me. And and it's like that shit was so fucked up, man. And, and you know, I wanted to, you know, I, I know a lot of fans up here and, you know, I just wanted to come up here and just like fucking give them a hug, you know, and it was really cool last night when we had the gathering after the show, you know, it's just like, you know, I wanted to give people hugs and people wanted to get hugs, you know what I mean? It was just like, you know, I, I felt like people like breathe a sigh of relief, you know what I mean? Exactly you know, what it was. It's just like, and... <sighs> yeah, it was, it was rough and, you know, we thank you guys so much for coming here every summer, you do two nights. It's, we know this is one of your favorite venues to play. I mean, I know there's SPAC and there's the Gorge and Alpine, but... Mansfield is, I mean, that's the place you do. You guys have been playing here for since 1996. So, Boyd, I want to thank you so much, man, for letting me come on your bus, having a conversation with you. Um, you know, you've really done a lot for my career, too. So this has been great. I really hope we can do this next year. I hope we're back a year from now doing the same thing and hopefully, uh, you know, having some great talk, great conversation. So thank you so much for letting me come on here and talk with you, man. Well, thank you so much, you know, and I really appreciate you giving me the opportunity to to talk to you guys, and uh, you're doing a fucking great job. Um, I hope you can bleep out all these curse words I've been saying. Um, but, I'm a but, professional, I can do it. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, man, I, I appreciate it. It's been great that uh, you, you've given me a lot of exposure for the movie, and um, I, I really appreciate that a lot, man. All right, boy. Well, thank you so much, dude. We'll uh, hopefully we'll be talking next year. Awesome, man. Uh